to work out this question, I'm going to use two methods. Now, method one I'll just use the long method. So, A multiply by A multiply by A divide by A multiply by A A multiply by A multiply by A multiply by A and I'm multiplying A by itself seven times. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Now, obviously, you know that if I divide A by A, I get 1 because I'm, div I'm dividing that by itself. It's just the same as dividing 2 by 2. I get 1. So if we know that, we can simplify this expression. But we know that if we divide A by A, we get 1. So that's gone. A by A, we get 1. That's gone. A by A we get 1, that's gone. So what will remain with here is 1, the numerator, over A by A by A by A. So 4S in the denominator. Now we can write that in power form, so or in the, as an index. So we end up with 1 over A to power 4. Second method, so method T. Now, you remember when we looked at division of indices, when you divide indices, you subtract the powers. So what I'm going to end up with here, um, if I'm to simplify A to power 3, divide by A to power 7, um, that will be equal to a to the power 3 minus 7, which is A to the power negative 4. Now, this is interesting. We have one question, but two answers. We have this answer and this answer, meaning the same thing. So, we can say that if these two answers mean the same thing, because we actually came up with these two answers from the same question, we can then say, or we can summarize and say that 1 over a to the power 4 is equal to a to the power negative 4. That's a very important result. One question, two answers. So these two answers must be the same because you're actually coming up from the same question. So the question here is, what does this result here mean? 1 over a to the power 4 is equal to a to the power negative 4. Um, I'll explain that below here. So, if I have... So, I'll draw that. So, if I have um, 2 to the power negative 4, for example, that would be 1 over 2 to the power 4. And 1 over 2 to the power 4 basically means that I'm, go I'm going to divide y 1 by 2 four times. I'll repeat that again. 1 over 2 to the power 4 means that I'm going to divide 1 by 2 four times. So that means that I'll end up with 1 divided by 2, divided by 2, divided by 2, divided by 2. So that's the meaning of that. Another example, if I have 3 to the power negative 5, that is the same as from our results there, our conclusion up there, we, this is the same as 1 over 3 to the power 5, which will be equal to 1 divided by 3, 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 um, five times, so one, two, three, four, five. And that will be the result of three to power, to power negative five. So we can conclude here and say that, um, just create more space here. So we can conclude and say that 
a negative exponent means how many times to divide 1 by that number. So a negative exponent So a negative exponent means how many uh, times to divide 1 by that number. And I've already illustrated that in the two examples that I've given um, above here. So that's a very important result. Um, and this is what negative exponents are about. I mean, if you have, for example, 3 to the power negative 7, that means 1 over 3 to the power 7. So that means you're going to divide 1 by 3, 7, that. Um, just as simple as that. Okay, so we'll move on to the next page and look at uh, some examples here. The first example is we write these expressions using fractions. So just using the same formula that we've uh, Right, we, we have derived in the in the previous page um, that we have observed. We haven't right, that we have uh, we have observed from the previous page. We can uh, simplify these expressions. So a to power negative two will be one over a to power two. So this will be one over b to power four. One over three to power four. One over d to power five. One over seven to power eight. Now, some of these answers you can simplify. Um, for example, 1 over 3 to the power 4. If you use your calculator, you'll end up with 1 over um, 81. I'll show you that. So if you go on your calculator, um, if it's on, just press 3 to the power of 4. Enter, you'll be able to get that, 1 over 81. Likewise, if you have 7 to the power of 8, so if you go 7 to the power of 8, you'll be able to get that. So we'll just write these answers um, because we can actually work that out. Remember, in your exams, you're allowed to use calculators. So uh, we can go ahead and uh, write these answers. So this will be 1 over... Five seven six four eight zero one, and this is one over eighty one. Okay, I'll move to the next example. We write these expressions without fractions. So here we are writing without fractions. What that means is we are going to use uh, negative indices or negative powers. So this will be. Um, p to power negative 3, 5 to power negative 2, r to power negative 4, s to power negative 7, and t. Now, this is, if you have t just on its own, that means t to power 1. And what that means is you're multiplying t by itself. Of course, if you multiply t by itself, uh, no, 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 you're not multiplying by t by itself. We just have t, so that, that's just t to the power 1. So, um, what you'll end up with is just uh, t to the power negative 1. When you bring it up, you're going to have t to the power negative 1. So, t to the power 1, remember, means that you just have the number itself. You have the number in itself. So, t to the power 1, the number, uh, you just have the number itself. Good. I'll move to the next questions. 
Um, these are extra examples just to help us understand this concept. Now, rewrite these expressions using fractions. So, 3 to power negative, um, remember what we said, um, if you have something like a to power negative n is equal to 1 over a to power n, we're just using that formula. So here, 3 to power negative 4 is same as um, 1 over 3 to power 4. You can simplify that using your calculator. I showed you how to do that. Um, 1 over 81. 2 to power negative 6. 1 over 2 to power 6. And 2 to power 6 is 64, so 1 over 64. Again, you can use your calculator. That will just be 1 over 7 to power 1, which is same as 1 over 7. This will be 5 to power um, 1 over 5 to power 2, which is 1 over 25. This will be 1 over 10 to power 7. So you'll end up with a long answer here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. These are zeros. <laughs> Let me write that properly. So 1 over 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Good.